Hello guys, and today I'm going to be um, ranking different games, like um, rating them on a scale of 1 to 10 basically. And uh, we're going to be starting with GTA. The other games we are going to have... Uh, you alright there? Um, alright, well, um, that's something new. But, um, so today I'm going to be talking about five different games, and those five different games are GTA, of course, Gang Beasts, Brawlhalla, Plants vs. Zombies, Battle for Neighborville, and Overwatch. No, now, uh, I'm not, I didn't say those in any specific order. You'll see what order they're in in the video. But, um, so, I'm going to be rating this game a solid 7 out of 10, and here's why. This game has lots of fun elements to it, especially GTA Story Mode. Yes, I am talking about both modes as a whole, like GTA Online and GTA Story Mode are both going to be talked about. Honestly, I think that GTA Story Mode is a perfect um, 10 out of 10. Story Mode is absolutely perfect. I love Story Mode so much. But, um... I just love watching people play story mode, like speedrun it, like a uh, Dark Viper AU. He's a really good uh, speedrunner. Really enjoy his content. Um, I, I watch him on Twitch sometimes. But um, today, <sighs> I'm going. I'm not talking about the story mode. Just the story mode. I'm going to be talking about the online version too. So, honestly, I don't really like story mode that much. I mean, I mean, I I don't really like online as much as I like GTA story mode. I I like story mode way more. It's just that whenever you complete the um story mode, there's nothing really to do after you complete the story mode except for like do a bunch of other side missions, and even after you do that, there's like nothing you can do after that. After you do everything in the game, there's nothing to do. And then you have to go into GTA Online where there's a bunch of griefers, and you know it's kind of ironic that I'm saying that because I'm on an oppressor, but. It's just the griefers in this game. The, the only thing that there are in this game are grinders and griefers. The grinders are pretty chill, and all they do is just get a bunch of money, and they just. They always get a bunch of money, and then they post it on social media. And griefers just decide that they want to destroy the. They want to try and be super cool. And they want to destroy every single player's. Um. What's the right word? Hope. <laughs> like, they just don't care. They just blow up every single thing in sight. And I just fell off my bike. They just. Uh, they are they're just the most annoying things in gaming communities. So um that's basically all I have to say about this game. Um before I go any further, I just want to say that in the link in the description there is the timestamps for the rest of this video. So if you want to see like a certain type then um the timestamps will be in the description, so if you guys want to see that, then uh, go look at it in the description, and you guys will see it. So uh, I'll see you guys 
on the next section of the video. Alright guys, I had to... Uh, I had to go back into Overwatch because apparently my PS4 decided that it didn't want to record the quip. So now I'm going to remake this quip. But... Uh, oh my god. Alright, so let me just... Oh. Okay. I also I'm also going to be having to remake the I'm doing the Overwatch part for, so basically I just made the battle for Neighborville quip and before that um I did the other two quips the what was it Let me see. So, I just did the Battle for Neighborville clip that you will be seeing at the very end of the video. And I also just recorded a Brawlhalla clip. So those will be the next two things you will see in this video. Um, and uh, I am going to be recording the GTA clip after this because um, apparently that didn't record either. So yeah, fun times. Uh, well, let me just talk about this game again. Okay, so this game is a fun game. Um, it's just another shooter with um, a bunch of different characters. Honestly, this game is very, very, very fun sometimes. But it's just the uh, sometimes whenever people target you, like in Garden Warfare 2 or in other shooter games, everybody who plays short shooter games knows what a target is. And for some reason, if you don't know what the sh what a, sh a targeter is, then it is someone who focuses just on you, who just focuses on you the entire game because you killed them a couple of times or because you were trying to be funny and you emoted on them once so they start crying and then they start emoting on you after they kill you every single 12 seconds and if you're still destroying them after you if you're still destroying them after you you know kill them once or twice after they start targeting you well their boyfriends are gonna come around and they're going to start targeting you too and then you're gonna have a whole game full of people trying to target you sorry for that long explanation of targeters but yeah that's pretty much what a targeter is and that is one of the things that don't that doesn't make these types of games fun so I just am going to talk about this video about the sorry not about this video about the shooter game the shooter games a lot uh, later in the video you'll see what I'm talking about but I rank this game a six out of ten solely because of toxic people in the gaming community it's not because of the game the game is an alright game it has a few flaws like character balancing character buffing but it's an alright game it's just the community that makes it toxic but um, yeah, that is what I have to say. So I'm actually going to see if my PS4 wants to record now. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, we're in the next game. And we're in Brawlhalla. Now, um, I'm just going to casually go into training. Because I haven't played this game in a while. Rayman's my main... But I mean, like, <sighs> I completely forgot how to play this game. I've been playing Smash Bros. too much. Oh my god. Alright, so, this game can be a little rage-inducing because of all the sweats on here. But I mean, this game has one thing that makes it better than Smash Ultimate. And there's only one thing. 
First of all, it has a battle pass. Second of all, it has Rayman. And a bunch of other characters like Barbara. And they actually have like crossovers with like real life things. So there are a few things that actually, sorry, that actually make this game better. And combos are way easier to do in this game, which it makes it really fun. And it's just, this game is amazing. Like, uh, it can be amazing, but like, some of the people in this community are just so toxic. <laughs> and they take advantage of this game. And they use... And they do such toxic things. I can't combo with Axe anymore. Oh my god. But yeah, it's way easier to combo in this game, in my personal opinion. And I honestly just like playing this game more than, well, I, I, I played, I like playing this game, well, I like Smash Ultimate more because, like, instead of actually having to, like, like, pay for coins to unlock the character, you actually, like, get to get them, like, very easily. Like, you don't spend currency in-game. It's way easier to get the character in Smash Ultimate. So I'm gonna give this game... I'll give this game a solid 7 out of 10. And it's actually very simula similar to uh, GTA. With the community just being toxic sometimes. And just sweating so much. And it's just, oh, so painful. And I honestly am just pained to say at how much Smash Ultimate is better than this game. Because it has a story mode. I mean, if they add Rayman, then Smash Ultimate is going to be... The best game ever, but I'm making this like in if you aren't seeing what time the video is being made. Um, this video is being made in May of 2020, like m late May. So this is before Fighter Pass 2 is coming out. Be the I mean it's not brought before it's coming out, but you get the point. Um, so yeah, 7 out of 10, this game can be fun sometimes, but most of the time it's just painful. Alright, let's move on to the next game. Alright guys, we're in the next game. And uh, we are in Gang Beast, um, and I'm going to break this game. So, let me just fight this gray dude. So, while I'm fighting this gray dude, and I'm about to get absolutely obliterated, oh no. Well, now that I'm dead, let me tell you guys about this game. Listen, I'll give this game an 8 out of 10. It's a really good game, honestly. It's just that some people are really toxic. Like, honestly, they will. If you kill them one too many times, they will send you death threats, my guy. Um, speaking of... Well, I guess uh, that guy won. Um, so, this game, it has a few things that are bad about it. And one of the things is people who jump off and take them with you. As I like to call them, suicide bombers. Um, this community of people. Oh, hey, it's Rick. Oh, this community of people. The, these types of people. I'm not even going to ask. Okay, this this community can be very toxic at times because of just people killing them one too many times. 
Um, but th this game is actually very fun, and it gets funny sometimes. Like whenever that like that video I made a couple days ago, where that guy just straight up like just ended himself. Like he just he just straight up ended everyone's career by like grabbing a can and flinging it around. Like that's the, one of the things that makes gang beats gang beats. Like it just the humor to it. So yeah, eight out of ten for this game. Moving on to the next game. All right, guys. I have not been on this game for a while, and I have quite a few things to say about it. I don't know if they've changed this game a lot since I last played it, but I have a few things to say. Um, I already have all this stuff. Um. I guess I'm getting all this stuff. Well, uh, thank you, Rux. Um, so yeah, I have a few things to say about this game. Oh, so, thing number one. Character variants. If you've never played a... Plants vs. Zombies game before, and you've never played Garden Warfare 2, you've never played, um, you, you never played Garden Warfare 2 or Garden Warfare 1, this is your first time ever playing a Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare shooter. I recommend you play the first two games, but, and I'm mainly talking about Garden Warfare 2, because here's the thing, I'm not going to be, I'm, I might make another Garden Warfare video. I mean, not a Garden Warfare video. A video where I rank different games. But, it's just... Right now... I, I don't like this game. Because... They're just... Hold on. He's, he's probably going to kill me because that's... Never mind. Okay, so this game, it has one thing that I don't like about it. And that is character variants. There are no character variants in this game. Just regular classes are stupid. And I know it would have been very hard to create so many different characters, and it would just be so hard, like, to create all of these different characters. Like, you would have to create at least like I don't know, like 30 more. No, not 30. Like at least 50 more variants. Because of the new characters. Not only that, but you would have to. Uh, who? Okay, you know what? That's not right. I am getting eaten. Alright. So. How do I say this? This game is bad. Um. And I just got taunted on. This game is a. 4 out of 10. It, it used to be fun. It, I, I really enjoyed this game at one point. But ever since then, it's just been, it just lost its taste. I just don't know what it is. And I got locked on, dude. It, it just... I don't know what you guys want me to tell you, because this game... It has so many things about it that can be... Fun. Like... You could have at least made some character variants come back. Like, you could have at least made, like, I don't know, one variant from each class come back. Like, let's say, bring back Commando P. I mean, and if you're saying, oh, well, character upgrades are kind of like character variants. No, they're not. They are not. They're the character with a different looking outfit on. It, it just... <sighs> I just don't know what to say. This game is just so bad. Like, I'm sorry, but that is just my personal opinion. This game is bad. That's what I think of it. I don't like this game. Like, there are so many things that PopCap could have done. Not only that, but like, 
If you, like, if, if you stop playing for a few months. Like, look, let's see, let's see what this, this, this dude's doing. The prize map. I thought they already did one of the... Okay, I'm not even going to ask. But... This game, it just, it had so much potential. And they just ruined it. Like... Uh, they, it had so much potential. Like, this game could have been so much fun. But you had to add just the worst thing to ever happen to PvZ. Like, honestly, the regular PvZ games, like regular Plants vs. Zombies, not Garden Warfare, just regular Plants vs. Zombies is better than this game. And that's saying a lot, because those games are just planting down, like, pointing, and then letting go of it. Letting go of your clicker. And then, boom. You're done. And then you just have to keep on doing that until you win. Yay! But in, in the Guard Warfare games, the, what makes it fun is that there are different classes. What Guard Warfare did is they added... What Guard Warfare 1 did is they had these classes, and they were like, Oh, let's... And, and in Guard Warfare 2, they So in Guard Warfare 1, let me start over. In Guard Warfare 1, there were a bunch of different classes. And there were different, let me just think. There were different classes, and there were different subclasses, and they were, just, they were not balanced sometimes. So, what they did in Garden Warfare 2 is they balanced it out, and they added new character variants to make it more enjoyable. More of an enjoyable ex experience. And that, and I'm just saying what Wolfie said in his video. If you don't if you guys don't watch Wolfie, I honestly recommend you do. He is in a phenomenal YouTuber and honestly, he makes some of the greatest content you might ever see. Oh, and I forgot to say, happy Memorial Day because this video was made on Memorial Day. But um this game gets out of gets a 4 out of 10 because <laughs> They literally took everything from Garden Warfare 1 and Garden Warfare 2, and they made it worse. Like, how do you do that? Like, they... It's like that you take something perfect. Like, you you bake a cake, and then it's not perfect. So, so you try it. You try the first cake, you eat it, and it's not perfect. So, you try to make one again. And they're both pretty good. So, you keep them in your fridge for a while, and wait till the guests come over, and then the day before the guests come over to eat the cake, you flush it all down the toilet. Do you see what I'm saying here? Like, they just put all their work down the drain, and then they just say, oh, well, here's another game. You've been asking for one for years now. Like, that is not what I wanted. This, this is just garbage. Like, this, I mean, I like the maps. The maps are really cool. But like, I, and I like the art style. It's just character variants. That's the only thing you needed. This is not a fun game without character variants. That is the one thing that makes Garden Warfare, Garden Warfare, is the character variants. So, <sighs> PopCap, on the slim, slim, slim chance that you are watching this video, which I doubt you ever will be, I want you to know one thing. Put character variants back in the game. Now, I'm not talking about add upgrades that will add upgrades that will literally like cost t take literally like hours of your time up. Add something like that you did with that I did with Garden Warfare 2 with the packs. Those were fun. Just it's, it's fast. It's easy. And it's fun to, it's, I, I like a little bit of mystery in my games. So having that mysterious element to your games to wonder 
what is going to happen next. It's just the one thing that I liked about the games. But you just flush that all down the toilet, like I just said, and you made the game not fun anymore. Like I used to have like five friends on here. Like I, I, I always have had friends on Garden Warfare 2 back in the day. But now everybody stopped playing the game and I barely have any friends. Like there's only one person playing this game and it came out like less than a year ago. This game is already old. So, PopCap, if you, again, if you are watching this video, please add character variants. That's the only thing that I ask for. And my birthday is coming up in a few months. And I kind of wish, that's, that's my birthday wish, is to get character variants in this game. So, don't add packs to the game again. Don't add stupid little stupid little funny character upgrades I don't want to don't add stupid little funny character upgrades just just add packs back that's all I want just add the packs back with character variants and then this game would be fun again if you do it how Garden Warfare 2 is well, that's why it's the best game then yeah you will get yourself a good game but whenever you take away the best element of the game, it's going to make it bad. So I've been rambling too much in this video. So I spent way too much time on this game. So I'm just going to end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And by the way, this is my own personal opinion. Probably should have said that at the beginning. I'm just going to put a disclaimer at the beginning. But, um, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.